A Salina man crushed and killed by his own boat. And tonight, we're hearing from his family. Thanks for being with us. I'm Heidi Hatch. I'm Mark Abell. The trailer pulling the boat jackknifed over the weekend. And as they tried to straighten the trailer out, another truck came along and hit it. That caused the boat to fall off and crush Dwight Davis. Jim Spiewak spoke to Dwight's sister. And Jim, this was not the only loss for them in just the last week. Yeah, tragically, just days before Dwight tragically passed away, he lost his father just a few days before. So now this family is not only thinking about one burial, they're having to deal with two. He had a kind heart. He would honestly do anything for anyone. Katie Crane was on her way to St. George when she got the call. Her brother was in an accident. It was a shock, especially when I found out that they had pronounced him dead. It was a major shock. Dwight Davis had gotten a boat just a couple months ago. He and his son were taking it to Ephraim to store until the summer when they missed a turn. And his boy thought he could make it, and so he attempted it, and they that's when they had got jackknifed and slid into the ditch. Part of the trailer was sticking out into the road, and another truck slammed into it, causing the boat to fall off and crush Dwight. It was an honest mistake. It was an accident. Dwight, who Katie says was a family man, died on Friday. His father died just four days earlier of a heart attack. It's hard. It's very emotional. Um, there's a lot of emotions. The family still working through all of their emotions. Do not blame the driver that hit and killed Dwight. He's probably going through just as much as we are. And we understand and we're not mad at him. We understand it was a tragic accident all the way around. Dwight now leaves behind three children and two grandchildren. But if there's one thing they say Dwight would want, it would be to get back out on the water someday. Dwight would want us to go on and just still continue to do things as a family, be happy, celebrate his life. So the family tells us that they do not believe that the driver that hit and killed Dwight actually had insurance. So there's a lot of things that they're working through and the family spent a good portion of the day today at the funeral home trying to work through all the burial in the funeral services. Reporting live tonight, Jim Spiewak, KUTV 2 News.